Hey everyone, welcome to the first chapter of Generative AI for Testers and in this chapter we are going to understand about what is Artificial Intelligence or AI, then what is Generative Artificial Intelligence or Gen AI, then what content can be generated or produced by the Gen AI and some of the key challenges of the Generative AI. Along with this, I'll go through the demo part of the Gen AI and will give you some of the information and updates about what tools can do when we talk about the generative AI or what they can produce. So the first thing first, before we understand generative, uh, generative artificial intelligence or AI, we first need to understand what exactly is AI or artificial intelligence. Now AI or artificial intelligence is the field of computer science which focuses on building machines that can think, learn and make decisions just like humans but often faster and more efficient. So when the machines can think like we as human being, when they can process data like we as human being can process and take decisions based on our intuitions, based on our prior learning, we know what exactly an object is about because we have from our childhood, we have learned those or we have been able to identify certain objects. For example, a fruit. So from the childhood itself, we have been able to identify a fruit. We have been told that this is banana, this is apple, this is orange. So as a human being, we can look at the apple and then our system, our intelligence as a human being processes that information when we look at the image or the apple itself or the orange itself, then we can process and take decision that yes, this is apple or orange. Now, if we introduce similar sort of intelligence into machine, that is what the artificial intelligence is. When we say artificial intelligence, intelligence that is being introduced into machine artificially, making machines learn the way we learn as human being by looking, by analyzing and then making the machine enough capable to provide us answers to take decisions based on what they have learned in the past. So that is what artificial intelligence is all about. Now AI systems can perform many things. They can understand the language. For example, you can have the AI system and you can ask question in any particular language and they can produce answer for you. Now current situation in the AI is much more advanced as it was previously. Now AI has been there for a while. It's not a new field. It has been there for a couple of decades and advancements have been happening. For example, if you talk about the self-driving car, you would have heard about self-driving car that Tesla has been uh, working upon from a couple of years. So that is again, the whole system itself is artificial intelligence system that hardware software combination so that the cars can be driven automatically based on the data or based on the road information, based on the traffic information that can be provided to the system and based on that, the self-driving car can take decision whether there is a traffic, whether they have to break down if some uh, object is in the front, when do they have to change the lane, etc. All of that can be introduced based on the data that is being fed so that the system can learn. Apart from this, in the manufacturing units, you have a lot of systems, automated systems with artificial intelligence capability for sorting, for refining the products based on certain quality characteristics. So these systems have been there for a while and the advancements within these systems have been happening and AI has been introduced and is being introduced uh, and improved continuously. So these are some of the existing fields and systems that have already been there. Then robotics, it is much more advanced right now. So that is also introducing the artificial intelligence in the robot so that they can think, they can walk, they can learn how human beings walk and perform the actions. So that all is artificial intelligence when the intelligence of human being is mimicked within the machines, within the software, that's what hard, uh, artificial intelligence is all about. Then these artificial intelligence systems can recognize the pattern, they can co solve complex problems and they can make predictions as well. These are some of the tasks. There are many more tasks that AI systems can do. Now, 
दिस इज ऑल अबाउट ए आई और आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस नो वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज जेनरेटिव ए आई एंड वाई डू वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड लर्न जेनरेटिव ए आई एज टेस्टर्स नाउ अडेज so generative ai is a type of artificial intelligence as as we know that generative ai is generative plus ai so ai is there artificial intelligence now generative ai is advancement of ai wherein the generative ai has the generation capability it creates the new content based on what it has learned in the past based on the existing content so generative ai is a type of ai that can create new content based on what it has learned from the existing content so there is a typo here i'll update it what it has learned from the existing content so i'll update that in the slide don't worry about that so always think about generative ai as two con uh, two words generative and ai now when we say generate or generative what all generative ai can generate it can generate the text it can generate the poem essay it can generate the images the videos and lot of other things we'll we'll uh, see with those examples so the content that can be produced by gen ai for example you can write essays you can write poems you can write code email so nowadays for example if you're working in the Uh, software testing field automatic uh, already you would have already heard about the github copilot right so github copilot helps you to write the code snippet or even the whole structure of the framework you can provide it in the prompt and it will give you the information or the code snippet that you can straight away use in your code then you can also create the images for example artwork logos photo reel stick scene then you can create the audio and video animations as well so deep fakes your voice synthesis music all of that is possible in gen ai multimodal content for example you can combine text image and sound together to create realistic looking videos so all of these are some of the possibilities of gen ai that you can use to produce either text or images or video or audio multimodal content so these are some of the areas where gen ai is really helpful and produces really good content now how it produces because gen ai systems or the models have been trained on large set of the data that existing data so whatever for example if we talk about the text generation so large language model that you see chat gpt right so there are some models that are working behind or that have been trained on large set of information that is available over the internet so based on that information generative ai doesn't only just produce what is existing but it has the thinking cap capability and can produce new content for you not only the not just the existing content based on the existing content it has learned it will make decision and it will make or create the new content every time you will ask certain question it can create a new set of text or the essay that will look like as if it has been created by somebody with similar human intelligence so that's what the gen ai can produce now what are the some of the key challenges in uh, generative ai hallucinations and misinformation for example the gen ai systems can provide misinformation biases in the output why because if gen ai models or large language models the data that is used to train these model is itself biased then the result will be biased or the output will be biased right so if i say if i train the model and i say uh, provide the image of banana and i always say to the model that this is apple then in that particular case the model will when i'll say i show the image of banana then the model will say no this is apple right so there will be biases in input and misinformation based on what it has been trained on if the data itself is not accurate and and good enough then generative ai will provide biases in output or wrong output then data privacy and security issues are major concerns that because the information on which the model has been trained on is the public information so it might utilize some of the public information that it was not supposed to or hasn't been consented upon 
then high computational cost is one of the other key challenges these models require very high computational power so that's another key challenge that needs to be addressed upon then integration challenges are another key challenge wherein gen ai models are uh, the the organizations are not able to integrate these models very effectively in their existing tools to cater or to get the maximum benefits of the generative ai in the existing system so these are some of the key challenges there are many more but then with every tool you have the capability then you also have the challenges now let's go ahead and understand what generative ai or we'll go ahead with the chat gpt so we'll see what chat gpt looks like so if you'll see here this is uh, the chat gpt portal wherein you simply can go ahead and sign up for the chat gpt account and this is how you will be able to ask anything right so here you'll see you have a search box and then i can go ahead and ask any question to chat gpt and it will provide me the answer for example here i can say create an image of parrot in forest so with just this text as we have understood that generative ai can create the images based on the text or it can create the essays or poems you can provide anything in the prompt for the videos you have other models but then for the images and for the text chat gpt works or the free version works pretty well so it's still generating once it's finished let's see what it has created okay so you can see that it is absolutely stunning picture that has been created it is not picked up from the existing list of pictures that this model has been trained upon it is absolutely brand new picture that is generated based on the learning that this model or the chat gpt whichever model this tool is using at the moment it uses that model based on the learning then it has created or generated the image for me and that's why this is generative ai not only the image i can ask to write a poem right so i'll say write a poem on the i'll say on this parrot right so it will also understand the context so here's a short poem inspired by the parrot in the forest right so i've created the image in the forest image of the parrot in the forest and for that parrot i'm writing a poem so you'll see the scarlet song and automatically it has written a poem for the parrot in the forest so this is how the generative ai works and what it can do and this text that you see here the poem that you see here it's not a copy paste of the existing data it's actually the intellectual or capable intellectual capability in the model based on the learning it has done in the past based with on on the data it has created this poem for us so this is about the generative ai what exactly is ai what is generative ai and what generative ai can do for us and some of the challenges in the next video we'll understand about some of the other key concepts of the ai and generative ai before we proceed further thank you see you in the next one